During a six-month period last fall and winter, more than a half dozen health care workers either observed or tried to treat injuries on five-year-old Lauren's body. But it wasn't until about a week before she died, March 9th of this year, that those injuries were reported to Department of Child Services. Prior to August 22, 2009, all indications were that little Lauren McConnell was leading a happy and healthy life outside Indiana with her mother. But records show that good health deteriorated once in the care of these two, her father Ryan and stepmother Brittany. I, mean, I think the health care providers have been duped in some of this. Muncie Police Sergeant Jimmy Gibson's investigation uncovered that the first sign of alleged abuse came in November of last year. It was an unusual injury, followed weeks later with severe weight loss, bizarre behavior, head, bone, and vaginal injuries. Nothing was reported to Child Protective Services until March 1st. When, when they went to these health care providers, the health care providers questioned them, and they just gave good answers. Sergeant Gibson says they have no reason to investigate doctors or nurses for failure to report. A spokesperson for DCS cannot talk specifically about Lauren's case, but did explain. We would rather receive a call alleging abuse or neglect, begin the assessment, and learn that that was not the case than to find out that a call could have been made, was not, and a child was placed in harm's way. Right now, Muncie police are not getting the full cooperation of the McConnell's family. There are some other family members that uh, I've tried to interview, uh, gave initial interviews and won't come back in. I did speak with Lauren's natural mother today by phone. She lives in Knoxville, Tennessee. She described her mood today as, quote, broken. Now, Amber Huggins, only reason why she does not have custody of her daughter, we're told, because she could not afford an attorney during divorce proceedings. Now, her ex-husband, Ryan, and his new wife, Brittany McConnell, remain in the Delaware County Jail. Brittany has no bond. Ryan has a $30,000 cash bond. In Muncie, Gene Cox, Fox 59 News, first at four.